So the design studio is an increasingly important place for builders to not only showcase product options in, in context, but also enrich the customer experience for buyers. But all the vignettes and model homes and displays in the world don't replace a real live person who knows what they're talking about, especially in these times of both live and online approaches to this critical part of a builder's business. So I asked Jane Marr, president of Success Strategies and the founder of the National Design Studio Institute, to give us some perspective on hiring a design studio professional. Welcome, Jane, and, and thanks for joining me. Thank you, Rich. Thank you so much for having me. When we talk about hiring a professional design consultant, you know, maybe define for us how you define that, how you define a professional sure. design consultant. Um, I would say a professional design consultant is someone who works with a builder's buyers to support their desire to create a uniquely personalized home that reflects their lifestyle needs, their design preferences, and lands within their target investment range. So the, the, the uh, additional roles and responsibilities a design consultant might have for a builder beyond that will vary greatly, but in a, in a nutshell, that's the gist of it. Okay, and, and does that person need to have a design degree? Do they need to be a design expert? How does that, how do you look yeah. at that and how do you advise builders about that? I get asked that question all the time. And let me say that having a design degree is probably a bonus skill, but it would not be the skill I would hire on. Uh, and, and I think the way builders should think about this is really in understanding the end goal of what the design consultant can do for their business. Uh, so I think of it as a sales position, just like a new home consultant is a sales position. Um, this person, the professional design consultant, has to um, basically understand the the wide variety of, of data points on enormous amount of data and to be able to professionally present it. So the skills I would look for in hiring would be the same types of skills that you look for in a new home consultant, someone that um, has great interpersonal skills. This is the ability to develop trust and rapport, to present well physically, um, to be focused on, on the customer uh, and the customer experience and to be able to diffuse challenging situations, things like that, interpersonal skills. And then I also think we have to really find somebody that's detail-oriented. The, as I said before, the amount of data points is enormous um, and someone needs to be able to memorize tons of data points so they're not saying things like, oh, this is really pretty, this is super popular. You know, that's, that's not the skill level we're looking for in a professional design consultant. We call those like invisible words, popular, great. So somebody that can um, really be detail oriented and be able to script those data points into compelling, articulate, concise, uh, you know, presentations, somebody that works well under pressure with constant deadlines, and of course, somebody that is interested in design and has a capability for design. And in terms of uh, finding, finding people with that skill set, I mean, how would you advise builders to, to kind of recruit for that? And, and also... Yeah interview for that? I mean, how do, how do you, how do you find those nuggets? Oh, that's a good question. And I do get asked that a lot. You know, the first thing I would say is like, I, I like to hire an attitude, you know, somebody that is dedicated and passionate is going to conquer whatever you throw at them. They can learn all the data points on design. They, they may be starting a little behind somebody that doesn't have that background, but that is something that can be trained, taught. It can be learned. What can't be learned is attitude. So first of all, you know, I, I would hire an attitude. Um, but, but where you find that person, um, you know, if, if there's a new home consultant who for personal or professional reasons wants to move into the design studio, that is like a dream background because they understand new home building, you know, and the, the sales part of it. They understand the customer journey. Um, they already have every skill we'd look for because they were hired for sales or we would hope that they do. So they're just basically learning the content knowledge, the subject matter knowledge of design. Um, similarly, if somebody has a sales background in a design related field, maybe they've worked for some type of, um, you know, um, even one of our suppliers um, or some type of furniture store or something like that, where they're working in sales and design, um, that's a great background too. But uh, having said that, you know, I think you hire on energy and attitude and um, put a good training program in place and anybody can be a rock star. Do you recommend maybe, you know, programs where, you know, they're not thrown into the deep end of the pool right away. They're kind of brought up and they have an opportunity to advance 
in in that position uh, to become yes. you know a senior level or whatever you yes. want to talk about? Um, well, that's a great question. You know, just like in our construction teams and our sales teams, we're not going to throw anybody in the deep end and be like, oh, you did this for somebody else. Go start day one for us. Um, I, I do think there's training that's required. Certainly there's product knowledge training. Um, you know, products now more than ever are changing all the time. Um, trends change, uh, you know, uh, functional capabilities of products change. There's all kinds of stuff. So, uh, so definitely design consultants need PK, product knowledge training. Um, they need the same sales training that, that the sales team, need, team needs, uh, how to develop rapport, how to overcome objections, managing challenging uh, customers. How do we build value in what we sell and articulate that value? How do we present well, presentation skills? Um, there could be training, we, we call it field training, getting the design consultants you know, out to see the homes under construction or completed. Even sometimes we like to do that with the sales team and with the construction team together so that the design consultants sitting in the design studio all day understand the application and the installation of these products and can set proper uh, expectations for the customer. So field training would be another area. Um, certainly, you know, trend and design training. What, you know, they do have to be on top of design trends. Um, so getting out to see your own model homes, other builders models homes, um, or accessing the wealth of information that's out there in the world on design trends. Um, just like new home consultants, I think uh, customer experience training is an important one. Um, just having basic skills in how to provide an excellent customer experience. And then lastly, I would say like any new hire for a builder, making sure they are trained in the internal builder things. What is your mission statement, your corporate culture, uh, legalities that pertain to the role that you're executing and things like that. What are kind of the, the signs that somebody is successful at doing yeah. this that builder can say, okay, you know, this person's really kicking, kicking butt here. You know, I would say uh, the vast majority of builders that we work with do not have defined goals, let alone metrics for what a success, what will be the threshold for whether or not the consultant is successful. So let's look at um, things that would probably be true across all builders. Um, and these break down into general categories, I think are true for every builder. You know, one would be delivering an exceptional customer experience. How do we measure that? You know, do we have an internal or outside um, survey and what are those survey questions and are they the appropriate questions or what other metrics do we use to measure, you know, customer experience? Um, certainly, um, are we meeting revenue goals? And how do we measure that? Hopefully with real hard data and, and defined, you know, uh, thresholds and, and good, better, best type scenarios. Um, and, and that's important, I think, for builders to understand that this is not an order taker position. If, if the builder doesn't believe that we can guide and coach and influence in a great way um, our buyers toward creating a better home, more aligned with their needs, um, then we're, we're missing the whole concept of focusing the success of our design consultants on the revenue side. Um, and then I think for just about every builder, I also believe one of the general uh ways we measure design consultant success should be, are we supporting the sales team and converting prospective buyers into buyers? Um, I think there's no reason why that shouldn't be a general goal. Beyond that, builders may have other very specific goals depending on what the scope of responsibility is for that design consultant. So you could have a team of you know eight design consultants working for a manager with two support team people. And then the, the consultants just have a defined role of meeting with the customers probably. But if there's no manager and no support person, they may also be sourcing new products or being the liaison for different departments or maybe creating the packages for the um, spec or early move-in homes. Um, or maybe they're doing your model homes or you know they're responsible for the upkeep of the design studio environment. So, so I think you know there's the general buckets of things that are true for every builder. And then there's probably a whole host of other things that if we have clarity on what the design consultant's responsibilities and, and goals are and what measures, you know, what constitutes success, then we can put metrics in place to measure that success. Is there anything else about this, um, you know, in terms of, of, 
of defining that position, bringing somebody on, um, you know, making sure they're successful. I think we've got it covered, but I don't want to leave anything on the table. I think the role of a professional design consultant has evolved greatly. And I think that as an industry, we do a disservice to our customers, our bottom line, and everybody in all of our other departments. If we don't raise this position of professional design consultant up to the level it should be gone are the days where we put somebody in an entry level position and they had to figure out how to document everything and just get good paperwork to construction. That is a ridiculously outdated uh, way of thinking about things. And in today's world, with today's buyers being um, uh, having very strong preferences <laughs> uh, on how they want their home experience to be, um, and in today's world of rising costs and increasing financial pressure, I think it's incredibly um, irresponsible, honestly, for, for builders not to realize the potential of this position and um, to hire appropriately for it so that the, the design team really can uh, help move the business forward instead of being part of the reason there's a bottleneck and we can't get to construction. Jane, last thing, I know you've got um, you know, a, a program that you have at, uh, at Success Strategies that I think builders would be interested in. How do builders connect with you, whether it's for that or, or just simply you know, to kind of tap into your expertise? Sure. Um, well, first of all, um, our website is optforsuccess.net. That's O-P-T, the number four, success.net. And that will give you a whole bunch of information on our programs, which range from studio creation to best practices to training, um, all kinds of uh, corporate strategy and, and more, all focused on design studios. But timing is great right now, Rich because we are about to have our annual enrollment program for DC Pro, which is our design consultant professional online training and certification program, where professional design consultants can get the skills they need to be successful. And uh, it is a one year access to a state of the art program, um, tying up everything that we've learned through decades and through working with hundreds of builders and um, it's been amazing to see uh, the success and the results that the hundreds of consultants we have in the program right now are having for themselves in their confidence and their ability to handle tough situations um, for the better customer experience they're delivering and um, certainly for option sales uh, as well. Mm -hmm.